Okay, here's an update on the diorama. Sorry about the last segment. The TV volume came on all of a sudden, and it was loud enough that it would have drowned my voice out, so I rushed to go stop it real quick. Um, I talked about what I'm doing with the plaster of Paris. Okay, I gotta let that cure up. I noticed my rocks idea is not working, so I'm gonna have to try something else. This gray stuff is cellu clay. Okay, um, I mixed up a half pound of it, and it covered quite a bit of this diorama. I smoothed it out by taking a um, squeegee. I'll show you that in a later video, but I smoothed it out by taking a very wet, flat piece of plastic and just smoothing it over it so I can get that smoothed out. I don't care to smooth this out up here, and I'm going to put some more cellu clay up here. These are plaster parish rocks from um, train dioramas for making train scenery. I need to mix some more of them so I can get, I want to cover this whole area with rocks. The area in the upper corner over there is not going to be covered with rocks. Now, I'm experimenting. I got the Godzilla feet I made from the mold, and I'm going to put one in here real quick. And that's what I was afraid of. This is why I'm experimenting. I'm wanting to see if the Godzilla feet are going to be able to make impressions in the cellu clay. It doesn't look like they're going to, and I need to. So I'm going to pause this for a second, and I'm going to go get something and give it a try. Okay, I'm back. This is the thing I was smooth and cellu clay with. So let me get this foot unstuck with the cellu clay stuck to it. That washes off pretty easily. If this is wet, if this works better when it's wet, but you can see how it's smoothed over the cellu clay real quickly. All right? Now I sprayed this foot with nonstick cooking spray. Let's see if that works better. No. So I'm going to have to figure out how to do this. Somehow, I need to get some foot impressions in here. Because Godzilla just doesn't fly in and drop. Okay? And I'm experimenting. I do fully intend to make this area of the cellu clay thicker anyhow. So this is a great time to experiment while I'm putting down my first round of cellu clay and getting an idea how well this works. Okay? So I'm going to be able to figure out how to make footprints on this stuff. What I probably I'm going to try next is I'm going to get these feet wet and see if that helps. So give me a second. Okay, this foot's nice and wet. Let's see if that'll let me make an impression. So I push it down in, pull it up. A little bit. I can see the toenails in it. But it's not doing an impression the way I would like. So... I'm going to have to try different mixtures of the cellu clay and I'm going to move this stuff away from where I want to put Godzilla standing so that it doesn't get in my way of that. So I'm just going to spread this out real thin like you're watching. Now that I got that spread real thin I can put an extra layer of this stuff down when the time comes. Okay? And that's where Godzilla is going to stand. So now in that area, I can put something different if I need to. It's cleared off. The cellu clay has got to get thicker in here anyhow. And I'll probably do some light sanding of this once it dries. In areas around, not around the rocks. In areas where there's going to be grass and things. So there you go. I know I can't put the cellu clay directly where I want this guy to stand. I know I can get this to work with Plaster of Paris if I let the Plaster of Paris set up some. That ain't going to be an issue. So I might just have to put a little square of Plaster of Paris in here and put the footprints in that way. But this is a learning experience and you know that's why we do this and this is why I make the videos so I make the mistakes and you guys don't need to. I'll be back with an update later. Well, all of you remember the last segment I was talking about trying to get the footprints in. I didn't know how to do that. And I found out how. Let my cat do it. Here, let me zoom in a little bit here and change the camera angle a bit. And I'm sure some of you can see it already. Yep, yeah, one of them did some walking. And they left me some little monster kitty footprints. Now, if I could only get them to wear Godzilla shoes. It'd be perfect. 
So now I'm gonna have to put this someplace out of their reach to let it dry and cure, which was my plan anyhow. But back in a bit, everyone. New update. Right here, all that's a half pound of cellulite clay. That's not really a whole lot since I bought the big Econo bit bag. I mean, I've done a whole pound of cellulite clay between this side and this side. My biggest challenge tonight is going to be keeping the cat footprints out of this. But um. One thing, I smoothed the surface down using water, and I used the back of a plastic spoon this time because I had better control over where the cellulite clay went. I'm gonna put some more rocks along there, kind of like this side. The Godzilla movies always have the scenery very, very, very rocky. That's so they have something to throw at each other. So I'm gonna put some rocks here and there. I've got more setting up in the Plaster of Paris. I'm probably gonna put a good, good sized rock back here and I'm gonna start building some rocks for the waterfall in my next installment. If I can keep the cats off that, I now know how to put footprints in. My big problem with the clay is, this is 24 hours over here and this is still wet. Um, we didn't have sun today. I live here in South Texas, so it's usually about 100 degrees outside right now. That's 100 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm not sure what that is Celsius, but it's hot, because room temperature's around 74, okay? Um, I'm going to put this in the garage tomorrow. If it's 100 degrees outside tomorrow, the garage will be about 120, 130. That'll get that to cure really quick. Now, I can't do much more with the cellulite clay until I get this sanded. I couldn't sand this today because it was raining. Tomorrow, it's not supposed to rain, so I can get out there and get this sanded all smooth. Then I'm probably going to tape it over to protect it while I do the cellulite clay. I don't want the cellulite clay on that. I want that nice and pristine and white. Is that supposed to be sidewalks? Oh, you know, this is a temple. I mean, a castle. It's a show place. So it's got to look good. Anyhow, I got to keep the cats off this tonight, and I got to figure out where to put it to keep the cats off it because they get in everything. You can tell by the amount of cat footprints on this. That way, tomorrow when I get up, I can put some King Ghidorah footprints over here and some marks for his tail. I don't need to put many footprints. He's got wings. He flew in, he sat down, so I just gotta put a few footprints around. I don't need the footprints to be deep, deep, deep in the um, surface of this, mainly because soil does compact, but it doesn't compact by huge amounts. But then again, Godzilla's supposed to weigh like 300 tons. 300 tons walking on soil is gonna compress it. I don't care what kind of soil you got, unless it's pure granite, it's gonna compress. So, I'll, I'll, I'll get it figured out. I did experiment earlier once I saw the cat footprints. So I know about how hard I can push on it to get the impressions I want. So I'll get that done tomorrow. Just wanted to give you guys an update where I'm at on the diorama. Watching all of you terrain guys videos has definitely been a help here. So be back in a bit. And by the way, the cellulite clay is straight up the directions on the label. Half pound of cellulite clay, eight ounces of water straight up the directions on the label. No, 16 ounces of water, sorry. Half pound of cellulite clay, 16 ounces of water. I put it in a big shaker bottle and shook it. I didn't even stir it, and it worked great. You don't have to stir it if you got a big shaker bottle. Well, anyhow, back later. Hello, everyone. I just had a three-hour session with cellulite clay in bits of plaster. Made a little waterfall back here. I'm sure you can see it. I'm not 100% done with that. I just realized I got to do a little bit more up at the top. I got my field light out, smoothed out fairly well. It's going to be a little rough around the edges, but not much I can do about that without putting down like a really thin layer of plaster on top of it, and I don't know if I want to do that. Now, up next, this thing's going to have to sit and dry for three, two days. Because this cellulite clay just takes forever to dry. It's just the way it is. But I just want to show you guys what I've done. Did a lot of cellulite clay work. You can see where the base where the castle is going to go. You can see I've got like a circular drive going right here. You can see I've got some waterways. I still have to do some work with this waterway. I can do that tomorrow though. Because it's fine if I do that while the cellulite clay is drying. It will, the cellulite clay will have skimmed over really well by tomorrow evening. So I can get away with that. Oops, should not have touched that. 
But anyhow, just wanted to show you guys what I've done. I will be back with it later.